son land. Millions and billions have been sent. But oh, here comes your time to go. Cry no more. For I will not leave you or forsake you. Son of Zion. My people have been praying. Demanding and asking for a leader. A leader that will lead them to their promised land. A leader that will understand them and feed their pains. So many have been leading, but they have been leading with a rod in their hand. They could not feed the pains of the innocent. Therefore, I have been commanded to release you to go as the leader which the people have been praying about. I don't want to go to that world full of sin, adultery, wickedness. Please, I don't want to go there. Please, God, tell the Father that I don't want to go there. No! You have been chosen for this purpose, and you must go. Please. Like I said, it is you, but no one else. But not this. You are not going to the world as a male man, but you are going to the world as a made man. For that reason, I have been commanded. So decorate you with a garment of favor. That means you will find favor in the sight of men and women. The garment of joy. That means you will live the life of joy there in the world. The garment of prosperity. Oh, that means that in all that you lay your hands to do, you shall find favor. Amen. Then, this is your garment of peace. Put it on. Your garment of joy. Your garment of prosperity. Your garment of explosion. Your garment of peace. Wear it. Wear it. This is the originality of your life. This garment will speak for you when you get into the world. It will connect great men and women to you. Amen. So many have been decorated with this kind of garment, and they cannot speak for them. This we also speak for you. Amen. Son of Zion, here is a global glory. This is the ultimate of your life. Wherever you go, Nation's gates shall be opened unto you. Amen. Where others go and struggle, you will go and find peace. Amen. When others knock and the door is being closed, at your arrival, the door will be open. Amen. Then, and that is the seat of honor. Seat upon this seat. Sit. This is the seat of honor that will make you to be honored in life. Amen. We are no man have been able to sit in the history of the family that you are going to represent. You will sit there. We are no man in the history of the family you are going to represent have not been able to reach. You will reach there and go beyond there. Amen. We are no man not been able to command authority in the history of your family. You will command authority and millions will listen and pay attention to you. Amen. It is time for you to go. Arise! The son of Zion. Know this. You will be a doctor, a senator, a governor, 
And finally, a president. Amen. And by so doing, you will lead my people to their destination of success. Amen. So, you will live for 106 years and 12 days before you return to me. But the life you will live here will determine the next place you will return to. Go! 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 But this is the genesis of a map. No man was created to be a subject to his fellow man. But it is obvious that many think that they were born with a lesser glory. Everything about man has been designed from his beginning to the years a man will spend on it. But what a pity that some are not even living up to half day of their year and they departed. Some are not enjoying the quality glory that has been given to them. What happened? Why is this so? Does that mean that the promise of the Father is no longer a sure promise? No. Man have not found out the mystery of their predicaments. Your life and your destiny. Uh -huh. So many things. 
As you can see, I will be a senator, huh? a governor, huh? a president, huh? a journalist. <laughs> I'm going to the world to reign. <laughs> and you can't do anything. Yeah. Rearrangement of decision. You are standing in a junction where your, this, where your destiny will be arranged. Listen and listen very carefully. Indeed, you would have been a doctor. But because you have come and encounter with me, you will become a conductor. Yes. Yes. I am the immigration junction. If I may ask, the garment they are wearing, what does this signify to your life there in the world? This garment, uh, the garment will make me to shine. <laughs> My star will shine all over the world. This garment will take me to places where no man has come in the family. Thank you. I will be the first to enter there. Thank and you. I will reign. Thank you. And that will be your heart. What does this signify to your life as well? This is my gift of command. Anybody I command shall come to me. I will help everybody in this world, and no one shall be seen. As they see, you are holding what we are coming. What does this seed signify to your life? As you can see, I'm still Stand up! This is the seed that will make me to see the places, in the places of king, queens, rulers of the world. I will be seed. Shut up! You have said it all. By your mouth, you have defined your destiny. And by so doing, your destiny will no longer be your destiny. Like I said, this is immigration junction. And as you can see, that is the road you will pass to your destination. But you made a mistake by passing through this direction. If you must return to that road, you will submit all that was given to you. By the authority bestowed on me, as the leader of this life, I command you to submit the glory in your hands. Now! Yes! That is what has happened to so many. So many are created to reign, but when they get here, their reigning was aborted, and they have never found a place in destiny again. So think is when they get into the world, tears began into their life. They have not found out the mystery of a man when going into the world. Submit your proper glory. Submit. That is what happened to men. Listen, this is your global glory that would have made you to be announced wherever you go. But because you have submitted this glory, you will never leave the village where your father lived. You will not go out of the village, talk less of you going around the world. You will die just the way your father died. Though your father was destined to be a great man, he was the state of the one among the richest in his own time. But when he gets to this junction, what is happening to you happened to him. That is why your father has been for that eight years without buying a wheel by tire. What is happening to you is what happened to him as well. You are submitted to your global glory. You will never be global in life. Submit your garment of favor. Your garment of peace, your garment of joy. There is no man without a garment. But some men, their original garment is no longer speaking for them. But their negative garment is speaking for them. Submit your garment of joy so that you will not be joyful in life. Submit your garment of prosperity so that you will be poor when you get into the world. Submit. Give it to me. That is how man lost it all. What a garment! So many have not found out where their garment have been kept. I am proud to announce to you your garment is dumped at Satanic Warehouse. Just the place I'm taking this one to. Finally, your seat of honor presented before me here. Present your seat of honor. No, Present. Please. Drop it for me. Please. Drop it. <laughs> Listen to me. I have occupied your seat of honor. 
even before you get into the world. That means if others are finding honor, you will never find honor. Because your seat of honor has been taken from you. So many are created to be a commander. But up to now, they are still living like a slave. This is what has happened. And you just this step as five. It's in the sense. There is a label which I see under the sun. As an arrow proceeded for the mouth of the rulers. For we have seen the servants riding on horses where the princes are working on their bare fruits. That is what has happened to you. Instead of you to ride on horses, you will walk on barefoot for those that would have walked on barefoot. Because this is the rearrangement of your destiny. Now, in this junction, I give and I take. For me not to leave you empty, we're going into the world. I will call him that will give you a new garment. Designer! The one that saw the garment of sorrow for men to wear. Designer! The one that saw the garment of affliction for men to wear. Wherever you are, I summon you here because I need a beautiful design for you. Designer! Okay. <laughs> this is going to the great one himself. 
Now, I leave you with a companion. This one will be with you. No, no. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> he will monitor your day. He will monitor your noon. He will monitor your night. Go. Uh, when men sleep, the enemy got to soldier. And he went his way. I have so. It is time for me to go my way. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> so many have not yet found out what has happened on their journey. I am proud to hide the secret from them. And they will not discover it.
there is always a light in every challenge. I trust in the God who I have found that is capable enough to do the unusual. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor that heavy laden, for him alone will give us grace. My daughter, oh God, I think it's okay. It's just for a time. It's just for a time. When God shows forth at the arrival of God, every insult will be terminated by results. I trust God. I trust God. With my God's way. God's way. Subjected to become our workers. Yes. And take a look at the must be mandated to look up to us. I trust God. Carry your back. Let's go. Let Mama Gesi enjoy all the labor. Useless, but never did it. But now I know you are an embodiment of useless. 
In fact, I am happy that you are useless. Yeah? I'm happy. Thank you very much for being useless. My friend, are you mad? No, man. Have you lost your senses? No, I'm only thinking. How dare you talk to me? My friend, will you get out of my office? Get out of my office. Get out of my office. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Are you mad? Man, wait. Are you still standing? My name is Prosper. And you told me that I've gotten a job. Eh? And I told you that God will bless you. Eh? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ma, see. Why did you get out of my office? No, ma, that is not what you said from the beginning. You said that I am a money, marketing manager and uh, supervisor. Uh -huh. And I say God bless you that your company will go higher. Uh -huh. That your company will prosper. Your company will explode. Your company will go international by me coming in. Yes, that is what I said. You? Yes. Is that what you said? Yes, now. I just said you that thing. So, you are even lying. You that said that soldiers that will fire you not to me. <laughs> we come from, I don't even know, I don't want to mention, I don't want to hear anything again. My friend, get out of my house. Get out, get out, get out. It's not, I can't say it. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Ma, I should be going. You have to spend your money. God, that you can love 
occupied my seat in destiny. Yes. I take my position in future. Yes. I recover my place in life. Yes. Therefore, I am no longer a product of that year. Front yard is my portion. Yes. And then I enter now. But as for you, as you have returned all that was taken from me, I judge you by the wickedness of the years ago. I sentence you to the bottomless pit. This is your final execution in my life. It is your night of judgment. Every stone that I've thrown to you tonight is taking you into the pit. I command you to rise up in the name of Jesus. Go to the bottomless pit and remain dead in the name of our Lord. Go in the name of Jesus. Come on. 